Prusa recently released a 3D printed guitar project on printables called the Prusa Caster, and after recently designing and building my own custom 3D printed guitar, I decided to take this project on and give it a few of my own custom design tweaks. The original design is a Telecaster style electric guitar with honeycomb cutouts. In my previous 3D printed guitar project, I experimented with using epoxy to give the guitar body a unique aesthetic and was really happy with the way it turned out. Therefore, I decided to use a similar technique to add my own flair to the Prusa caster design. Prusa was generous to provide step files of the design, so I was able to modify the CAD to fill in the hexagons, creating 10mm pockets for the resin to be poured into. I also noticed that the original design did not have guitar strap posts, so I added those to the CAD as well. Borrowing a clever Prusa assembly technique, I added slots into the body to accommodate square nuts to bolt the post into place. As for the neck and hardware, originally I was planning to purchase the Harley Benton Telecaster kit that Prusa recommended, but quickly pivoted when I found that shipping to the US was going to cost over $80, which is more than the kit itself. I ended up buying a Telecaster kit off Amazon for $105 total, which I will link to in the description below. The kit includes everything you need to complete the Prusa Caster project. Another nice thing about this kit is that the electronics are all quick disconnects, so for anyone who struggles with soldering like I do, this won't be an issue. The Prusa Caster body is comprised of a total of six 3D printed parts, plus a 3D printed pick guard and a plate for the output jack. It is recommended to print the main core, which houses the pickups and bridge, with seven perimeters for extra strength to be able to withstand the tension from the guitar strings without flexing. I printed all parts in draft mode, which is 0.3 millimeter layer height, to keep the print time down. I used 25% info for all parts and used organic tree supports. In total, all of the parts printed in just under 100 hours, with the core and middle hex pieces taking the longest. For filament, I used Amazon Basics white and black PLA, and a silk purple PLA as an accent color for the corner piece. Unfortunately, the assembly process did not go as smoothly as I hoped. I found that the neck was misaligned from the body of the guitar, and I had to mess around with it a bit to get it to sit straight. I also quickly found that the bridge that was included with the Amazon kit had a different mounting pattern than the Harley Benton bridge. To salvage the build, I pulled out my Dremel and enlarged the bridge cavity so that it would fit. After checking alignment with the neck, I pre-drilled holes directly into the 3D print and was happy to find that the screw securely anchored the bridge to the plastic. For those of you who plan to use the same Amazon Telecaster kit, I plan to post my Remix CAD on printables so you won't have to go through the same hassle as I did. I used Gorilla Glue to glue all the parts together and wood clamps for a tight hold. The quick connect fittings made all the electronics super easy to connect. The parts fit together like puzzle pieces, so this was definitely a fun step. The only step that was even more fun was pouring the resin. I tested out a few color schemes in SolidWorks and ultimately decided on a blue and purple color gradient to fill the hexagons. I leveled the table to make sure the epoxy would cure flat. Just like my last 3D printed guitar, I used JB Weld two-part epoxy and black diamond mica powder to give it color and it was super satisfying to pour the resin into the pockets. For the middle layer of hexes, my plan was to mix the two colors after pouring, but this definitely did not work out as intended. In hindsight, I would have mixed the blue and purple in a cup first and then pour it. Even still, I was really happy with how everything turned out. The epoxy definitely gives the guitar a unique look. After waiting a full 48 hours to let the epoxy cure, the guitar was almost ready to be plugged in. After stringing the guitar, I noticed that the action of the strings was high, so I 3D printed a small shim. The action is still a bit high, so I plan to print a new shim and improve this further, but for now it was good enough. Before I demo the guitar, if you have made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. I have shared links to everything discussed in this video, so make sure to check out the video description below. Also, if you're interested in my other custom Les Paul style 3D printed guitar design, then check out my website, the3dprintzone.com, or my Etsy shop to purchase the STLs. As always, I have to apologize for my poor guitar playing skills, 
But without further ado, here's a quick demo of how the guitar sounds. <laughs> 